Well, hi there, Ignite students and parents. So excited to be back in person for Ignite uh, in just a few days here on Friday, September 11th, 6 o'clock here at the church. We're going to be back. Some things are going to look a little bit different. Um, one of those key things is that Ignite's actually going to shift its time a little bit. So we're still going to be starting at 6 o'clock, but we're actually going to be ending at 720 and so part of the reason for that is that we we really can't afford to have any air time, any free time uh, right now. And so we recognize we probably had about 10 minutes of that. So we're going to be starting at 6 o'clock, ending at 7.20. And part of that too is so we have time to clean for a few students so they can enter and use the facility as well. So 6 o'clock to 7.20 uh, will be our, our temporary time. And it, it's, it's really important um, actually that we... That, that you're here for 720 to pick up uh, your son, your daughter. Because, yeah, like I said, we need to clean and, w and we don't wanna have a big congestion as our senior high students are entering in and our, our Ignite students are leaving. So uh, 720 is gonna be our end time. A couple key things to bring, and, and we'll get into some other stuff as well as far as what the night looks like, is a Bible. Bring a Bible, normally we'd We'd give a Bible to you if you forgot one so you can use it and, and leave it, but but we're not going to be doing that. If you don't have a Bible at home, we'll absolutely provide you with one uh, for you to keep, for you to take home. Um, but otherwise, we need you to bring a Bible. Also, bring a water bottle. Uh, or we're not going to be doing any snacks or drinks in this season, in this time frame, so be sure to bring a drink. And then finally, uh, bring a mask, bring a face mask. <clears throat> to wear and we'll talk about what wearing a face mask looks like in just a moment So let's let's go take a look and see what some of the night will look like. all right ignite students. So uh, As soon as you get to the church here, you might notice by me. This is the youth room door This is the door will be going in by this point. You'll put your face mask on You'll put your face mask on you'll enter in uh, You'll sign in at the bottom of the stairs and now let's head downstairs and see what will happen once we're down there. So we'll get down to the landing of the stairs, the youth room's that way, the rest of the basement's down that way. We'll put our face mask on properly. We'll have it on as we're coming down. And uh, then depending on if you're in grade five or six, or seven, eight, you're actually gonna be directed to either the youth room or the rest of the basement. And that, that'll that that'll switch up every week, so that's okay, don't, don't worry about that. We'll, all of our Ignite students will have a chance to use the youth room still. And then you'll enter into either the youth room, which I'm in now, or the rest of the basement, um, which, which we'll have a portion of to use. And what we're gonna do, we're still gonna keep our masks on, uh, but we're gonna play a socially distanced game together. So we have some awesome socially distanced games actually that we've, we've picked out and, and planned out and we're really excited about them. <clears throat> uh, but we'll keep our masks on because There'll still be some intersecting probably and you'll be walking past each other. But you might notice behind me, you maybe can only notice one. There's one, two, three. There's chairs that are socially distant. So that's why we'll have a split between the grade fives and sixes and the grade seven and eights. That's why they'll, they'll share. Sometimes one will use the youth room and then one will use the rest of the basement down here. Um, just because we socially distance can actually only get like 14, 15 chairs into this room. Um, but for that, the purpose of those is so that we can have a teaching time um, with our masks off and take a break from wearing those masks and be in our designated seats. Um, and I'm excited for that teaching time. We're gonna be continuing through a Bible a story series. Uh, first, we're gonna be looking at the book of Job and then we're gonna spend time in the Psalms and Proverbs. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, and that's, that's really, that's the night. That's, that's the gist of the night. Um, you'll exit through the same youth room doors uh, that you came in the, that will lead right up the stairs, right to the road. We'll exit through those doors. And then that's it. That's it, I'm excited. Uh, but before you go, here's another brief <laughs> little message about what these first couple weeks will look like and how it'll look slightly different. Now before I go, uh, I just wanna close with one, <laughs> one final thing, which is disregard just about everything I just said for these first couple weeks because we're actually gonna be starting 
outside, all, all weather dependent obviously. <clears throat> but hopefully for the first three or four weeks, we'll be, we'll be doing uh, both Ignite and Fuse outside actually. Uh, back just, just right behind the church. Um, so a couple important things to remember. Still bring a Bible, bring a water bottle, and bring a mask, bring a face mask. Because uh, while we're sitting around the fire, we'll probably be huddled together uh, just for <laughs> the sake of having fire. Um, so we wanna make sure we're wearing a mask, uh, but also in case we need to go inside because it starts raining or something. So bring a mask, wear a face mask still. Uh, we'll let you know when you can have it on, take it off while you're here, while we're outside. A um, Couple other things with being outside. <clears throat> bring a lawn chair if you have one. That's that's a it's great to sit in a lawn chair and not on the ground. Or we have a couple benches, but but not too many. And you might notice I'm wearing a jacket. Dress for the weather. If if it's the weather will be dropping down a little bit, and so we're still gonna we're gonna push and stay outside as long as we can. Uh, once it starts raining, once it starts snowing, hopefully not. Uh, we'll we'll be inside obviously, but but make sure you dress warm for the weather. Uh, if it's 10 degrees, it might be too cold to wear a t-shirt and shorts. So, so just dress appropriately. Again, we're, we're so excited, guys, to, to have you all back here in person. Uh, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. Uh, parents, if, if you have any questions or concerns or need more information on anything, uh, I'd love to, love to contact you. So we'll be in touch, and we'll see you Friday. Bye for now.